G'day, g'day, welcome to Alchemy Art. My name's Annette and this is just a quick little video to show you how I made these lovely little trays using temporary tattoos with resin. I originally saw this, I think, um, from uh, Wendy at Toonpish Crafts and I'll link her channel below in the description box. And I always keep some moulds beside me when I'm doing resin beaches and whatever. And if I've got anything excess, I even scrape it up off the mat. I put it into little moulds. So that's how these came about. The tray mould is one that I found at uh, Kmart here in Australia. And I have two or three of these, I think. And uh, once I've got to the top of the mold um, from filling it up with leftover resin bits it was time to unmold them and see how they look and these are both a, a blue um, on one side and on the other is clear with a lot of sparkle powder in it so here's the first one and as you can see the blue has sort of um, poked its way through because uh, the clear sparkle on top and uh, although the trays have turned out well in shape, I, I sort of didn't like the blue just being the feature showing through. So I ordered myself some temporary tattoos from Amazon. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get them in AliExpress. And at this time of the year with Halloween, of course, there's lots you can, you can get at the, the cheap shops. And I chose two sort of floral ones that I hope won't be overpowered by the blue shining through. I just trimmed them to size with scissors. And um, I tried it in the tray a couple of times and then trimmed it a bit more until I was happy with it. And I must tell you, I actually forgot how to use temporary tattoos. I'm nearly 60 and I, I couldn't remember how to use them and I stuffed up two at first before I remembered, duh, you have to take the film off the top of that. But um, I got there in the end. So I'm just going to try this one in the bottom of the tray and make sure this one's going to fit. And it does. So then all you need to do is take off the film and then get some water. And I just use tap water and a folded up piece of paper towel. And you put the tattoo, the colour side down, and then dab all over the back with your wet paper towel or however you want to do it. Um, you don't need to sand the resin surface first. It will adhere quite well without sanding. And I don't think I show it in this video, but I did peel up a corner and just check that it was okay before I peeled it back and this one uh, was quite okay. And here we go, the big reveal. And it actually turned out quite beautiful. It's hard to show um, on camera, but there's a shimmer behind the flowers, almost like it's stained glass. And this second one, the blue was showing through the tray even more. So I've picked some flowers that have got a bit more colour in it. And there's a little bit of white in the flower as well. So I'm hoping the blue won't overpower it. And there's a little butterfly that I do add um, to one corner. And it's sort of got a bit lost in there. But um, in, in certain light, you can see it's in there. And it was the exact same process, just wetting the back peeling up a section and making sure it was okay and then when it was wet enough you can actually feel that the the backing starts to slide and you just pull it back and I won't repeat it again with the little butterfly but you, I'll show you in a second you'll see it at the top right of the little tray and it was the same process uh, the butterfly I actually had to soak a bit longer it was from a different company and I don't know whether it was that or something I did, but it just took a bit more soaking. But it's there at the top right. Next thing to do before the resin is to make sure these are completely dry. Water and resin do not play well together. Um, and I was a bit worried about burning it with a, a full-on heat gun. So I just used a travel hairdryer on a low setting. 
and um, just went over them continuously and touched them every now and again to make sure that they were completely dry before I went to the next step of resining. And before the resin, because I've been a bad girl and not checking that my table's level, I did check these little trays were level. And as you can see, I've got all my PPE on, pee on now um, and I'm wearing my respirator, gloves, etc. The resin I'm using today is Platinum 360 Plus and uh, it's a really good coating resin. I don't actually like to use this resin in a mould. I find it um, overheats too quickly and it's ruined a couple of, of my cheaper moulds, thankfully. They were the cheap ones, not my good ones. And I just spread it around a little bit and thin it out a bit further with my craft heat gun followed by a silicon makeup brush and the way I find best to do this because there's a, a little ledge at the, the side of these trays is to sort of push it around with the brush and then use the brush to roll the resin where I want to go you'll see me doing it there just around the corners and my light source is actually at the right of where I'm working. So I'll also turn this around and check from the other side and move the resin a bit further. Sometimes when the light's coming from the other direction, you can't quite see exactly where you are with the piece. Um, at this stage too, I always check to see there's no cat hair in there, none of my hair, and pick that out as well. I'm just... Um, Popping some bubbles again with the craft heat gun. And then I'll use my new favourite tool, which is a little uh, makeup micro brush. And they've got this little tiny little head at the top. And they're great for running around the edges of your projects, just to remove any bubbles that have collected in the corners as it's met the side. Lastly, I just pop any more deeper bubbles with my butane torch, move very fast over the area, and I repeat the same to the other tray, and they are all done. And I'm really happy with how these have turned out. Uh, I think I'll be using these as Christmas gifts. And I've also been jazzing up I call him now Horace. He's now got eyes. Thanks for watching, everybody, and um, see you next video.